Hello everyone, and as you can probably tell from the title of this video, today we are taking a look at the You Are An Idiot Trojan. Now this is probably the most requested piece of malware that I've ever had on this channel, with literally hundreds of people requesting it over the past seven or so years that I've been doing this. And I've heard many outrageous claims of the damage it can do, from completely destroying your hard drive to wiping your BIOS, and I'm here to tell you today that it doesn't do any of those things. It is a very simple JavaScript Trojan, that is designed to annoy you. So we'll look at the flash that you're probably familiar with if you're familiar with this piece of malware. You are an idiot.org just plays the flash in a browser window. It doesn't do anything tricky. You can go back, you can close your browser, everything's fine. However, if you go to a page with the original JavaScript on it, which I have a copy of on my site here, we will see the exploit that it uses and what it does to your computer. So when we run it, we can see that the uh, site is now bouncing around our desktop. It is going nuts. And uh, if we click, it goes a little faster. That might be a byproduct of the virtual machine's just virtualization speed. But we'll see if we can close it here. Uh, hitting Control and Alt and F4 at times will... There we go. I thought we tried to close it, so it spawned many more windows. Uh, hitting Control and Alt delete sometimes pops up a window. There we go. You are an idiot as it tries to prevent you from closing them, and as you try to close them, it spawns more than those. And this is pretty much it. This Trojan does not wipe your hard drive, it does not delete files, it doesn't drop itself to your C drive. It exists on the internet and spawns windows. And that is pretty much it. As we Alt F4, we get many more windows popping up. It gets very loud, so I mean, you might go deaf. I mean, that might be a problem you're worried about but nothing physically is going to happen to your computer. Nothing digitally is going to happen to your computer as this goes away after you restart. It's possible for the Trojan to be... Uh, I can't get to the restart part, that's kind of bad. But it would be possible for this to be uh, rewritten so that it might contain an exploit, something similar to that. But as it stands, the original variant here does not do any of that. It simply spawns windows and annoys you, and when you restart, it goes away. Alright, I think we restart it. We'll see if it will actually restart. It's definitely trying to, but it's kind of failing. There we go. I like this. This is going nuts. I took my headphones off because this was really loud on my end. It's much quieter in the video, but this is really loud, and it won't stop. Holy crap. Look at it go. That is insane. Can we, can we please restart? I can't even click on it. Oh, oh, there we go. Yes, I'm going to close. Alright, we're just going to hard reset. I'm going to prove to you that nothing happened to this virtual machine. Oh yeah, one cool thing I found out about OBS is that if you record the inner window of the virtual machine and then restart when it goes into a lower resolution, you can draw on the black part. Alright, there we go. Okay, and as we can see, we booted into Windows just fine. Nothing's wrong here. Everything is fine. None of your files are deleted. You can look at your hard drive. Your Windows directory is fine. Nothing's been dropped. Nothing runs on startup. And while there may have been some variants that change your home page to the web page or something similar, nothing like that happens here with the original one. So that is about it for the You Are an Idiot Trojan. Thank you for watching, I hope it was informative. Please leave any hate you may have for me messing up this video in the comments below. Thank you for watching.